All right, so for this video, we're going to go into alerting with Grafana uh, with InfluxDB included. So let's go ahead and get into this. So first things first, it's probably easiest to go from your dashboard and make an alert off your query. So I can go ahead into here into edit of flights in the air. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the code from this. I'm just going to grab this query here. It's just going to make my life a little easier. Sometimes in the Grafana UI, you will see the ability to add an alert here. I think it's available for things like Graphite and Prometheus, but for InfluxDB, you'll have to go ahead to the burger side menu, find alerting. I already have one alert running, so let's go into alert rules. It's pretty much the exact same that I'm about to create right now. I'm going to go ahead and name it Flights Airborne. So I'm basically going to create a simple alert that's going to let me know if there are more than, let's say, 20 flights within the air right now. Or within the past, you know, 5-10 minutes. So I went ahead and copied my code. Now one thing to note though is that this is not quite right because I needed to do a count. of the idents. There we go. And I don't think I'll need this group by anymore. All right, awesome. So right now we have 11 flights. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take this number here because it's just going to make it easy to deal with. There are many different ways to deal with alerts, by the way. So for example, you can do minimum and maximum if you end up with more than just like one single value. So obviously here I've specifically picked a query that's a little simple because I know it's going to return a count number. So yeah, you could use something like count down here instead. You can use minimum, maximum. I'm just getting the last value, which just happens to be a, a number. Uh, and then I'm setting the threshold to be above, for example, 15 or even 10, so then my uh, alert will most likely go off. Yeah, so it's already firing because the alert condition is already set and it's already reached it by being at 11. You can also add things like expressions. You can also set different inputs here so you can change these things, things like reduce versus threshold. So actually funny enough, I could probably remove this, set my input to A, and then this would still fire because I don't really need my reduce because I've already got a single number here, I've got 11. But if I needed to do something like a count and whatnot, I would still want that reduce expression which I could grab down here now if I wanted. But I'll be good with the threshold. Then you go down to set your evaluation behavior. So you can go ahead and put things in a folder, which is good for organization. It's not required per se. Um, I think it will just default to the Grafana Cloud if you don't pick one. I'm putting in the Flights Alert folder. I created that specifically for my alerting. And then you can create an evaluation group. So evaluation groups basically uh, have evaluation intervals, which is how often the rules in the group are evaluated. So this is basically saying how often you will evaluate uh, to see whether or not there's more than 10 flights within the air. And so you could name your evaluation group something like time, like evaluate every five minutes, but most people tend to group things together. Again, I just made a very simple evaluation group called Fight Alerts that uh, looks at it every five minutes or so. Now, one thing to note is the pending period needs to be bigger than uh, than your evaluation. So for my five minutes, it needs to be, for example, 10 minutes. If you keep it below five, it will just give you an error when you go to save this, and it will tell you that you need to make it larger. And then for configuration labels, labels are, again, just like an organizational purpose. I'm not going to add any labels to mine, but this would be something like if you have many, uh, you know, dashboards, many... Uh, things that you're monitoring and you're alerting on, you could add labels for things like security team or uh, HR department, etc., or uh, SEV1, that could be a label. So those kind of labels would be good if you're dealing with a lot of alerting. A contact point is how you want to receive your alert. So remember that your evaluation group is just how often your, your alerting rule is evaluated. It doesn't say where it actually is going to go. Uh, same with your folder. It's for organization. It's not telling you, uh, like the entire folder does not share a contact point and the entire evaluation group doesn't share a contact point either. So I'm just going to do my Slack contact point because I created already. I have a Slack webhook for the InfluxDB community channel. 
And then you can add things like annotations. So that can just be more uh, things about your message. So for example, I can say more than 10 flights. This is just an opportunity for you to add more detail. And the nice thing you can do is you can also choose to link a dashboard. So for example, I can pick my flight aware flights in the air dashboard, which is where I grab my original query from. And I can go ahead and add that to it. So I'll go ahead and save this rule. Fantastic. And right now it's creating it, but I'll just go ahead and show what this looks like when it's actually working and alerting. So this is within the InfluxDB community Slack channel. So as you can see here, I did a first test just to make sure my webhook was working. And then you can see my too many plane flight alerts was firing. And my label says alert name too many planes. It's got the Grafana folder it's a part of. For example, it has my summary here, which is we have quite a few flights in the airspace. And then it gives more details like the dashboard, for example, that I connected to it, etc. And then down here, it just resolved itself because I basically paused it. I uh, didn't actually have less than 10 flights in the air, but these are just examples of how this will look when it actually fires. So how do you set up the contact points is in here. So there's quite a few options for adding contact points. Of course, you can do the basic things like email. Like I said before, I did Slack, but you can also do, you know, a more common one might be pager duty for a lot of people. A webhook pretty much allows you to connect to multiple things. Uh, from what I understand, all of these should come with your, I'm on a open source, you know, free Grafana Cloud account. I do believe almost all these come with that account. And yeah, that's basically building out a very basic alert. Once you have your alerts, you'll see stuff like this. Like you can see, for example, I have a pause rule. I have one active and one already firing. It, it gets, there's a lot of data here to go through for sure if you want to. But yeah, that's just how to set up a basic alert. It's pretty straightforward. Grafana is not too different from the alerting when you're just using regular um, Graphite or Prometheus versus Influx. The biggest difference is normally just that you might want to use something like your queries versus your uh, versus just the builder, for example.